All right, me. It is the same exact day that I finished reading Savage Inequalities. Um, and now I've just finished reading The Boy Who Dared by Susan Campbell Bartoletti. Um, it's a very good book, right? It, it, it is, she lists it as a historical fiction. And I think that is a, a misnomer because of the way that we think about historical fiction. This is, and I, I, I hate to say it because it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I really consider this a biographical fiction. Um, the Boy Who Dared is about a Hitler youth um, named Helmuth who really did go against the Hitler youth and against the Nazi party in the 1940s. Um, and what he did was as a youth at 16 years old, he started listening to shortwave radio illegally, right? Because at the time, the Nazi party had banned listening to any non-German uh, radio stations. So he's listening to shortwave radio illegally, listening to the BBC broadcast um, of, of the war and what's going on. And in conjunction with these... Um, these broadcasts, he's then writing essays about the Nazi party that are inflammatory, right? That are exposing that the the German population is being lied to because they're not being given all the information. Um, what ends up happening is Helmuth um, is then, um, then brings in two of his friends um, and they, they keep to secrecy, but secrecy as much as possible. He eventually brings in a, f a fourth person who is the, um, who is like another apprentice at where he works. Um, and that other apprentice then allows him to then make a lot more copies because that fourth apprentice has much larger connections. And this is going on, this is going on, this is going on. They eventually try to bring in this fifth person um who the reasoning for it right is that Helmuth for everyone else that he's brought in the three other people that he's brought in so far have been because they've all been very clearly um not happy with the way that Germany is 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 running and the way the Nazi party is doing things and he brings them all in this fifth person that they bring in um he decides to approach because he's trained, he's learning French and he's like learning French like vocabulary. And that's like the tip off to him, um, which is uh, not a great decision on Helmut's part. Um, this last member, this fifth member is one that eventually turns them in. Um, the four original boys go to trial. And what ends up happening is Helmuth um, is clearly singled out, right? Because Helmuth has been kind of shown through investigation and through uh, the brutalization of these 16, 17 year old boys that he was kind of the ringleader. Helmuth, according to uh, Carl, who is one of the other uh, four people or the three people besides Helmuth that are in this trial, Carl recognizes and sees that Helmuth recognizes and understands that he is going to be treated much worse um, and his sentence is going to be much worse. So Helmuth, in order to protect his friends as much as possible, ends up deciding to effectively anger the justices as much as possible um, so that he, Helmuth, would get a very severe sentence and hopefully the other boys would get less severe sentences by making a very big showing that Helmuth was in fact this whole big rig leader. Um, Helmuth would eventually get the um, death penalty and the other boys would get sentences in prison. Um, Carl had 10 years and the other two boys uh, had like five years and four years. Um, it's a very good story. 
right? It's the book itself is not written at a very high level, right? It's it's I mean it was written in 2008. I bought this new probably at a book fair, so like I would have been in fourth-ish grade maybe I think I don't remember exactly. I was when I was eight years old then nine years old. I would have been eight years old for the most part, so like second or grade, whatever that is. Um, so really this is for kind of late elementary school would be my kind of placement of this. Um, you could teach this in middle school as a very short book if you wanted to. Um, I think I would be interested in seeing this taught at a middle school level um, as like a, a, a stopgap in between certain things or as like a very shortened book because it's not very long um and it's 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 really easily spaced out and everything but i think the interesting thing would be looking at you know how do we how does a government take away rights right how does a government um control its own people right how does fear affect what we allow governments to do um and then you know i guess the broader question right which might be a little high for for a middle school level but i think you could make it work would be you know i guess number one would be do you have to follow laws that are unjust right um and this is something that is still constantly questioned to this day right of do we have to follow laws that are unjust um, or that we do not agree with. And then the second one would be um, how much impact can an individual make on a society, right? Because at the end of the day, right, this death penalty that gets sent down as a, um, effectively as a warning, as a symbol to everyone else that you cannot stand against the Nazi party, right? It's one, it's really a group of five 16 17 year old kids that are doing this right i just say four it's four 16 to 17 year old kids that are doing this right how much impact could one person make even at a very young age um especially when they're doing something that is in, in our minds as americans is the right thing right um so yeah yeah that's that's the boy who dared um, it's in, it's written in an interesting way because it's one long narrative, right? It's not um, set into chapters. It is set into one long narrative that is in traditional font that then has some breaks in between to show time passing and then has cutbacks to the present time, which is in, in italics. Um which is Helmut's last day, right? Um, because Helmut did spend effectively eight months in prison, um, in solitary before then being executed, because that was another thing, um, as discussed with um, some other previous works, is one of the things about uh, a controlling party that is political in its ways is that it does not give execution dates it just tells you when it's time right um yeah yeah that's is there anything else to really talk about with Helmuth and with but yeah so that's that's the way the story is written um, it's very interesting to go about it. Um, I really enjoyed the way it was done, um, especially, I mean, for me, because I basically read this in one sitting. Um, so it was very, it was very quick, very easy to get through, right? Um, I said it's biographical fiction because that, right, it's based on a real person, Helmuth, and a real story and real events that have, that have happened. However, much as described by by Bartoletti um there's not much really surrounding that we know of besides what could be confirmed with interviews through um 
Helmut's older brother and then with some of Helmut's colleagues that would then survive like Carl um, and so it's it's a fiction in the sense that Bartoletti is trying to figure out a way to then get Helmuth to this position, right? Because Helmuth is the adopted son of a Rotenfurer, um, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, who was a like an at-home lieutenant, effectively. Right, so how does the son of a military mind that is super loyal to Hitler then go and speak out against in this way? Right. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's that's the boy who dared.